First uh, on the agenda, how to start your ATM business on your own and actually find your own locations. How much is it to actually start your ATM business? How much is it to actually use the location finder service? And how much is it to get a vaulter to actually uh, come and vault for my business? So I'm basically gonna answer everything on this live. Second thing, and we're gonna be doing a special live interview with a um, one of the youngest entrepreneurs we've had inside of ETM Business for Beginners. His name is Tyree Pugh. And then lastly, I'm gonna go into why ATM automation is the most cost-effective method in the ATM industry. Hey guys, Paul Alex from ATM Together and ATM Business for Beginners. I'm going to be your host for this live training today. Now, if this is your very first time here inside of ATM Business for Beginners, I know we get thousands and thousands of members every single month. So welcome. If this is your first live, go ahead and comment live. That's going to be L-I-V-E, comment live. That's that, that way we actually know that you're here live and we can interact with you. I also have my complete team, about four to five guys, um, really cool. They love to help members in the community. So with that being said, um, if you need a free guide, if you need a mini course, if you need help with direction within our community inside of Facebook, um, let us know, you know, reach out to any of us. I market the entire team, not just myself. So I also want to know where you guys are from. So go ahead and drop the city and state where you guys are from. If you guys didn't know already, I'm from San Francisco, California, and I rep it hard. All my Bay Area people stand up. So, <laughs> and I'm currently in San Diego. I'm in Southern California. It's beautiful out here. You cannot beat semi San Diego. The food, the weather, people are nice down here. So I had to get away from the cold after being there for, uh, I would say about three decades, right? So uh, with that, we're going to get started in just a couple minutes. I'm just waiting for more people to come in. Also, if you guys can help me out, this is the only thing that I ask in return for these free live trainings is that you help us out with the algorithm. How, Paul, how can I help you out with the algorithm? Well, simply just by interacting with us, dropping comments, um, asking questions, you're going to get one of our team members going ahead and actually interact interacting with you guys. Okay. So I already see a couple people commenting. Kat, I saw that. I saw, I saw your Peruvian food post the other day. Oh, it makes me miss home. Lomo Satao, Peruvian food. It's the best. So, okay. Elizabeth James, live from New York. I see you. Hey, Elizabeth. Steve from Michigan. Hey, Steve. Nice to meet you, man. Okay. I see NYC. Man, we got a lot of people from the East Coast. I know it's around eight o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. I know you guys are probably finishing up with dinner or uh, possibly getting ready for your, uh, for, for your work day uh, for tomorrow. So I appreciate you guys being here. And then I see uh, Chanel from Vegas. There you go. There you go. I see, I see the power couple. Yep. Yep. I see you guys. Sandra from ATL. Nice. Taylor. Hey, Taylor. Phoenix, Arizona. Awesome. Monique. Okay, guys, here we go. All right. So guys, we're gonna jump into this real quick. So to go over this, I'm gonna go, go ahead and do a share screen. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm seeing as we go through this. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so simple, my background. I am a nine to fiver. I still think like a nine to fiver. Um, this whole entrepreneurship to me, it's still brand new. Even though I've been in this space for more than a decade, um, a lot of failed, businesses, a lot of uh, failed attempts on trying to be a millionaire and all that jazz. Um, I went to corporate America, started as a sales manager for six years, jumped from sales into law enforcement. Law enforcement, I got into investigations within after my eight months, about a year um, into it, was a detective throughout my entire career, um, and then ultimately left that career for entrepreneurship. Uh, towards the end of it, I found the ATM business. And I know it's not the sexiest business to get into. Trust me, I had coworkers, family. They were like, what are you doing with what? And I was like, yeah, with the, those ATMs that you see at the gas station. So ultimately, um, I found it as a great opportunity. It was very black and white. I believe that anyone can do this. Um, and 
I'll be the first one to tell you, I'm not the smartest person in the world. So with that being said, um, I found it very simple to do. And the startup cost, which was my number one reason to start it, wasn't that, um, it wasn't, it wasn't that much. You know, if you try to get into real estate, if you try to get into even crypto right now, right? One Bitcoin is, I know it, it just went down because I my account, my portfolio just went down on a major hit, but <laughs> uh, Bitcoin itself, it's like around 30 grand. You know, who has 30 grand in their savings right now uh, for an investment? People don't. People live paycheck by paycheck. And ultimately, you know, that's that's what it is. That's what the United States is right now. Currently, we're going through inflation. People are trying to figure out different ways of how to generate different sources of income. And that's where I come in. I come in because I have that similar background. I have that similar experience, just like you guys. So I created this community. I created this community because I was able to go from one to 30 locations within 18 months. Within those 18 months, I was able to generate a five-figure income monthly. That's on top of what I was already making as a detective, guys. So that just shows you, even though you might have that phenomenal career or that phenomenal business, or you might be set already, right? You still have to make your money work for you. And that's what ultimately I did with the mindset of, hey, you know what? My 401k is not going to be anything by the time that I retire. I still had about 20 plus years to go. And on, on top of that, it was uh, effectively affected me uh, physically, mentally, and just spiritually, like I was morale was just horrible, you know, at work. So I'm just like, man, I got to get out of here. This is not cool. So, so with that, um, I ended up leaving and I went into digital marketing and I haven't been on social media for the past six to seven years. So everything was brand new to me. What's up, bro, Mike? I see you, bro. So um, yeah, so everything was like brand new to me, guys. And I was like, well, you know what? Let me see what this is all about. So 2020, okay. Uh, and I'm not going to make this long, guys. I know you guys are like, Paul, hurry up, get to the good stuff. We want to know how to do this. So I will, I will. So um, yeah, 2020 is uh, the middle of 2020. I learned digital marketing. I ended up investing into a mentorship, cost me around 10 grand and ultimately showed me how to build out a complete program. Everything from like coding to doing marketing to doing uh, online sales and all that jazz. So I learned, I self-educated myself. I invested in myself and um, ultimately through trial and error, I um, created an offer uh, for the ATM industry in, in particular where I saw there was a void. And what was the void? The void was simply that um, majority of America, majority of everybody works so much. Okay. Me, I was working 60 to hundred hours a week, guys, 60 to hundred hours a week. It's freaking crazy, right? Yeah. But I, what I like to call that is blood money because ultimately that's what you're paying in. You're paying in, uh, your, your physical aspect, your mental aspect, your spiritual aspect. Uh, you're, you're giving your all to, uh, buy, you know, the, what you want in life. And ultimately, um, I was using that money and investing that money into ATMs. So long story short, I created ATMtogether.com in January of 2021. In January 2021, we started with 30 clients um, and it quickly grew. Year to date, we're at a thousand plus clients. And I got to thank the community. I got to thank the community. I got to thank my team because uh, ultimately I can't do all this by myself. Okay. Um, I have their back. I motivate them every day. I push them to their limits, get them feel uncomfortable like they need to be and uh, get things done. And the same thing with my clients, my clients, um, every single day we are on them. We try to make sure that they're squared away with setting up their ATM business and what they need to do in order to accomplish their first ATM location. Okay. So <clears throat> Mrs. King, I see you right there. Hey, Angela. Okay. So that is my background. Now, if you guys can see right there on the screen on the left, that's going to be our last, uh, contest winner. Monique Lenore, she is literally days away from setting up her first ATM location. I'm going to bring her up and we're actually going to go ahead and do a live interview if she allows me to. Um, but Monique is awesome. We went and uh, we actually 
flew her out to San Diego for a one-on-one -on -one mastermind. And uh, she had dinner with the entire team, as you can see right there, with my sales consultants, Getem and Hill. Uh, and we just had a ball talking about life, talking about the struggle, and then talking about the ATM business in general, okay? Ms. Jackson, how are you doing? Ms. Harris, I see you too. Okay, so with that on the right hand side was actually one of my first goals coming into digital marketing, which was the click funnels award that's when you get into uh, over a million dollars in sales with your online business, and I was able to accomplish that in my very first year. Uh, doing digital marketing, so I think that it is not luck of what we do. Um, we are actually very, very experienced. We have a lot of training in this as well. I've trained all my guys and we have veterans that work with us that I'm talking about. They are nationwide within their ATM, their tangible ATM business. So with that being said, you guys are in good hands. So let's go on to the next slide, guys. Okay. So how to start your ATM business on your own and find your own locations. Um, number one, do your research, due diligence, guys. Whenever you get into any type of investment, you have to make sure you do your research. So this group that you're in right now, I created it just for you. And the reason why I say that is because I went to other groups when I initially joined and I was already a veteran. Like I was already making money. Um, I already surpassed the whole six figure mark and all that jazz. But money to me isn't, isn't anything. And I don't mean it like, oh, I got money. No, not like that. What I mean is it doesn't fulfill me. It, it really doesn't. What, what fulfills me is actually helping you, helping people. So at the end of the day, when people are like, oh, well, how are you making that much on your money? Hey, man, look, quit with the hating. Let's just help others, right? So anytime that I would see a beginner, what do beginners usually ask? How do I get started? I'm excited. Um, uh, where do I find, you know, the information and left to right, you would see these veterans. Like, I don't know if they were just salty or jaded, but they were just like consistently shout out hate to the beginners, uh, on the online space. And I'm like, come on, dude, like we're all adults. No need for that. So, you know what I did? I was like, let me create my own community. And that's what I did. Okay. I got bashed and everything for this too. People are like, what do you, what do you think you are? Right. So with that, I created ATM business for beginners guys. And here's the laundry list for you, especially if this is your very first live. Okay. I got three things for you. Number one, I got a free 2022 ATM guide. It's actually going to break down the basics of what I'm going to be talking about inside of this live today. Number two, I also have a free ATM mini course that I created last year. And that's actually pretty cool. Uh, it takes less than an hour. Each video is about five to 15 minutes long. So you guys can knock this out within a day. And then number three, we have all of the recorded weekly lives. I've been doing these lives almost every single Tuesday, every single week for the past year. Yeah, <laughs> so, so dedication, same discipline. Um, I mean, I, I even did these live during COVID when I had COVID twice. Yeah, so that tells you how disciplined I stayed with doing this, guys. Um, so with that, number three, I recommend that you guys check guides. And I actually got right here. I did a little screenshot right here. And this is what we always send out, me and my guys. Uh, when people ask questions, just look under guides. It's going to be in the very top of this group, okay? Click on that, and it's like a vault full of information, okay, guys? So with that being said, uh, go ahead and utilize it. It's free information, okay? This is basically thousands upon thousands of dollars we are giving you for free. We do not sell a course. Get that right. We do not sell a course inside of ATM Business for Beginners or ATM together, okay, guys? Now, if you guys are excited to go ahead and learn about the ATM business, and then ultimately, I'm going to show you a secret that my location finder services, my call center, my guys that are actually prospecting hundreds of locations every single day are using. And I'm gonna give it to you absolutely for free on this live. Go ahead and comment success. That's gonna be S-U-C-C-E-S-S. -S -S. That's gonna be success. Go ahead and comment success. Help us out with the algorithm. It really helps us out because it pushes our group to the top. And it pushes it to the general public. So more people will see this group and join the community, guys. So blow up the comments for me. I appreciate you guys. Show you guys a lot of love. And ultimately, whatever you guys need, we have your back, okay?
All right, so let's jump into the basic setup. This is what exactly I would do if I lost it all. If I had to start from square one and start my ATM business again, this is exactly what I would do, okay? So number one, guys, LLC, EIN, recommendation for this. I know you're gonna get a lot of people saying, well, why don't you just go sole prop, right? I even had this from some current clients that talked to their tax uh, accountant, but at the end of the day, this is based on our experience. You should always consult with a tax consultant or your CPA team. I always recommend it because everybody comes from different states, right? But I'm from California. So I know what um, I need to do in California to protect myself. And I recommend that you do your research as well. So I always recommend going with a limit liability company. The reason why, because you never know what if somebody trips on your ATM? As funny as that sounds, right? Because it's bolted down to the ground. It has happened. It has happened. Okay, guys. So with that, uh, you always want to protect your assets, right? Without an LLC, guess what? They could go after your personal assets, meaning your house, your car, the money in your, your checking account. You want to protect that, uh, you want to protect that, right? So you need that balloon. The balloon is that LLC, okay? EIN, you could get the EIN for free at irs.gov. Uh, very simple to do. Just follow the instructions on the website, guys. If you are ready to go and do your LLC, I recommend success e um, speed equals success. So I always recommend going with inkfile.com. It is the fastest and most efficient website out there for the LLC, guys. So I recommend that you guys do that, okay? Let's go on to ATM Processing Company. Now, if you guys don't know what processing is, processing is the network, just like your cell phone. <laughs> And you guys are always going to hear me repeating the same thing over and over and over again, because sometimes you, you just have to, right? So processing is the network you need in order to facilitate your transactions. With that, every time that a client actually uses your ATM, they're going to go ahead, withdraw money, which is actually your cash. It's not the bank's cash. It's not my cash. It's your cash. Okay. And you can use one to $3,000, not that much. It's going to come back. The banking network replenishes your cash every single business day. On top of that, every single transaction that you guys get, actually, you guys get the surcharge fee. You guys get all of the surcharge fee unless you go with the wrong processing company, which I'm going to tell you the tips right now. So instead of historically, we usually say LLC, EIN, and then go get your bank account. But in 2022, with the bank account situation, um, they are asking now up front for the ATM processing agreement to save you guys headache and some time. We are changing it up just like you have to change, change it up in business. You always have to pivot, right? So with that, ATM process company is the first thing that you guys want to go ahead after establishing your LLC and your EIN. Um, you want to go get, get, go and get three bids. Okay. If you are thinking of starting this on your own, meaning that you're going to go find your location, you're going to go, uh, buy your ATM, you're going to go and, um, use the free resources to train yourself. This is the best method to do it. Okay. I'm looking out for everybody that wants to do this on their own. Okay. So once again, this is the basic setup. If you plan on looking for your own location, if you want, let's say, for example, a one-stop shop, you want a team to do it, then just wait to the end of the presentation because I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly how my team can help you out on doing that, okay? So um, when you get the ATM processing company, a couple of things that you want to verify. You want to verify, one, that you're keeping all of your surcharge fees, and then two, that they're not tying you down to a service agreement. With that being said, you want also for them to um, give you an ATM processing agreement. This agreement is simply just the terms and conditions between you and them. This shows the bank that you are legitimate, okay? How many of you guys watch Netflix, Ozark, you know, all the, all the narco, uh, you know, TV series on there? It's pretty, pretty, pretty entertaining stuff, right? But you don't want the bank to think you're Ozark part two, okay? Um, now, with the ATM business, it's vulnerable to money laundering. Um, at the end of the day, it is cash driven. Uh, you also want to let them know, hey, this is exactly what I do within the ATM business, which it's a one-liner, guys. It's not that difficult. And actually shocks a lot of people. I always tell people to use this line. And if you're watching this right now, go ahead and take notes, okay? Or listen closely. You wanna tell the banking or the banker 
I need to collect my commissions from my ATM and I need a business checking account to do so. That is it. <laughs> Nothing else to it, guys. This is not rocket science, okay? So go ahead and let them know that. Um, with that, they're gonna verify with their bank manager and then they're gonna be able to let you know if they're gonna approve you for it. But if you're squared away, you have all your documents in line, ready to go, you have a higher chance of succeeding getting that bank account, okay? So what I would recommend if I was to go to the bank again is the LLC, the EIN, paper documents, um, the paper document of the ATM processing agreement with the ATM processing company uh, from them, and then also your identification to two different forms, okay? As long as you guys have that, you guys are able to articulate that you're there for that simple reason, you guys should have no uh, issue finding a bank, okay? Now, also, it's about mindset, guys. So if the first bank tells you no, don't get discouraged, okay? This is business. You are here to handle business. So handle it. OK, no one else is going to go over there and do the bank for you uh, unless you're an ATM together client. But no one else is going to go ahead and do the bank for you. Ultimately, you have to be a leader. You have to go ahead and actually control the situation, what's in your control. So if somebody was to tell me no, I'm not going to get mad. There are hundreds of banks in my area that I could go to. Now, if you're in a rural area, you're in a small town. Well, guess what? You may have to drive 20, 30 minutes to the next large metropolitan city in order to open a bank account. But you got to do what you got to do, right? To start your business. So a couple of nuggets right there, guys. Okay, let's go with, all right, we covered the bank account. Let's go with the order of the ATM. Now, I would recommend going with the same uh, company that set you up with the processing, Okay. It's the same company. The reason why is because of the discounts. Typically, Anthony, you're going to tell them simply this, okay? You're going to tell them, I need to open a business checking account to collect my commissions from my ATM. That is it, okay? So I got you on that one. Okay, so you're going to use the same company, same one that you're getting processing in order to get your ATM. The reason why is because you're, you're going to get discounted rate if you use more services, okay? And also you wanna build a relationship with the actual rep of the company, okay? ATM business, the reason why I became so successful in it, or I like to say decent. I don't like to say, I'm like, oh, I'm, you know, this big, big shot. I don't, I've never thought of myself like that. I like to say low key guys and just work. Um, so the reason why I, de I did decent in the ATM business is uh, simply because I build my network. I'm not, I wasn't afraid to say, I don't know, okay? I let my pride go on the side and I asked. I asked questions, okay? I, I don't wanna be the smartest person in the room because if you're the smartest person in the room, then guess what? You're in the wrong room, okay? You wanna be around people that are successful. You wanna be uh, uh, around people that have the right mindset that are gonna push you on a daily basis to push forward, to become a leader, to actually uh, make it to that level of success that you want, that you picture in your head, okay? So with that, I recommend two different models to go with, guys. Gen Mega G2500 or the Hyusun Halo 2. Both are phenomenal models. Now, the biggest difference between the two is the Gen Mega G2500 has a camera. It's a great selling point when you're going to your actual merchant account, your client, and you're telling them, listen, for security purposes, I know that, you know, uh, you you might get some merchants, some clients that say, "Well, I don't know, man. You know what? What, what if they break into to my 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 store? You know, hey, that's not an issue. We got you covered. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bolt on the ATM. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, warning stickers on it. Uh, and actually, the camera has uh, the ATM has a camera. And then on top of that, let's go ahead and put like either a, a security camera or a dummy camera on there." to deter criminals from actually trying to take action from taking your ATM. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds pretty good, Paul. Excellent. All right, cool. So from there, let's talk about location, guys, because I got to cut it short because we got to get into this interview, okay? So location, this is why I put the two little stars right there. So let's get into it. <clears throat> 
All right, so location, most cost-effective, but you need time, okay? I'm gonna repeat that one more time. If you're gonna find your own location, it's the most cost-effective, it's gonna save you the most money, but you're gonna need time, okay? And I'm gonna get into that. Locations, prospecting and selling, guys. The bread and butter, client acquisition and closing, prospecting and selling, looking out for leads, closing deals, right? That's ultimately what makes any company grow, okay? So number one, you need to know the offer. You need to know what you're doing. <laughs> you can't go to a business account and say, hey, can I give you an ATM? They're gonna say, sure, tell me about it. And you're like, damn, I didn't know they were gonna say yes. It has happened, okay? So <laughs> know your offers, keep it simple. You guys are beginners, okay? Majority of you guys are. If you're not, cool. I'm glad you still come to these trainings because we drop gems here. And I'm, I hope you're taking action with your business and you keep growing it, okay? I believe in you. So number one, two offers, ATM placement and ball team. ATM placement is basically when you're offering your ATM, you're offering it to service the maintenance, you're offering to load the, your ATM with your own money, and then depending on the negotiation of you and the actual client, you might give them a percentage of your surcharge. This is not the case in every single deal, guys. I've had deals where I don't give them anything because they like the fact that I take care of business. If the machine goes down, I'm there. If the machine is about to run low, I'm there before it even runs low because we get this cool, cool application on your phone that alerts you before you run dry on your ATM, guys, okay? If you didn't know that, that's pretty cool, right? So that's what you're offering. You're offering a program. It's called the ATM Placement Program. That is the standard program that most ATM companies are gonna offer um, anywhere, anywhere in the United States, okay? So with that, the second offer you need to know about is Vaulting. You're probably like, well, what's vaulting? Vaulting is where you utilize your money to fill someone else's ATM, okay? Yeah, that's all you're doing. You're just loading up your cash. If you have that savings inside your bank account and someone else's ATM, and then they give you a percentage of their surcharge. So they own the ATM. They probably are the one that will and deal with the location. And then they just need you to uh, basically keep up with loading the money inside the ATM. This is pretty cool. I did several locations like this. I did even a couple of dispensaries where uh, one of my buddies from SoCal uh, would hit me up and be like, hey, Paul, can you facilitate loading um, the, the money on this location, this dispensary, it does about 1500 transactions a day. I'll offer you a dollar transaction. I'm pretty sure you guys can do the math on how much I made on that. That's about $1,500, uh, <laughs> for vaulting one ATM. Okay. So it's good money guys. Trust me. There's different opportunities within the industry inside of the actual, uh, clients group that all my clients have access to and inside this online program I give them to make it very easy for them to set up their ATM business. Um, I show them six different ways on how to generate profits, how to generate revenue. So uh, this is just simply two because we only have an hour. Now we have like 30 minutes, but ultimately there are multiple ways to make money from this industry. It's phenomenal, okay? All right, let's go with number two. We need to understand the ROI. So you need to know how to calculate your actual numbers, guys. And this is good for all my real estate investors, for all my business people out there, all my entrepreneurs that are numbers guys, even some accountants, right? So with that, I give you a guys a very simple formula that, you, that anyone will understand, okay? And the reason why I do this is because I want everyone to understand this. So ROI formula. Let's say, for example, and I use this in one of my ads, okay? I was at a car wash, talked to the owner. Owner's like, yeah, dude, we get about four to 500 people here. We're near the airport. People like the fact that we do hand washes, but we only take cash. And it's because majority of the workers, that's how they make majority of their income. And I was just like, that's genius, bro. And he, <laughs> the owner was just like, yeah, I mean, got to take care of your team, right? Because with no team, guess what? No car wash. And I was just like, I like your mentality. You're a leader. So with that, 
400 people on a daily basis goes into our cash only car wash. Okay. One thing you have to understand when you're going out to find locations is simply that hey, it has to be cash driven. If you're going into the location and then ultimately guess what? Uh, you can't think of why they would need an ATM more than likely. It's not a good spot. So with that, you want to multiply the average usage and uh, based on our experience, the average usage on a cash driven location. Okay. is going to be three to 5%. Being that this is cash only, it is very cash driven. So we're going to use 5%. That would equal 20 transactions per day, right? Okay, let's take the 20 transactions now and multiply that by $3. Why $3? That's the average in the United States, okay? Uh, a surcharge fee you would charge for someone to withdraw money from your ATM. So we take those and that equals our daily profits, 60 bucks. That's not bad. I'll take $60 for going and actually going to my job or going to the beach or going to do, doing whatever I want. Okay. It's passive income, passive, active income, active. You're working for it. Passive. Guess what? You're doing what you want. Okay. So then you multiply that by 30 days. We got a, a one month about 30 days, the average, right? And then you get your potential gross profits, $1,800. Not bad, right? Not bad to go out there doing the, the homework, putting in the time to find a solid location. And then ultimately you reap the benefits year after year after year, okay? So with that $1,800, now for all my folks that are like, yeah, but that's gross. I got you, okay? 1800 let's say we did a negotiation with the merchant the owner and i give him 25 percent. okay average 25 percent. so that's about 450 bucks split split surcharge that i'm giving the owner that would mean that now it comes out to 1350 1350 is not that bad but you're paul paul there's there's more there's more uh expenses i know there has to be more so what is it right internet cost okay um, be transparent, internet costs. What we offer internet costs for our clients is the only recurring charge that we actually offer. That's six bucks, okay? So right there, folks, 13.44 net profit for a month of filling your ATM, probably 20 minutes, okay? So that is an example that you guys can use. Um, take a screenshot, watch the replay, do what you want to do, but that is gonna be the formula that you need to know when you go to locations and you ask, hey, what is the daily foot traffic, okay? Because then you can pre-estimate the return on investment for you, okay? All right, guys, let's move on. Okay, let's continue with prospecting and selling. I know we're running out a little bit over my, over the time. Gavin was probably like, Paul, what are you doing, man? We, we got Tyree waiting. I know, give me a few minutes. I'm wrapping this up. So with that, guys, three methods of prospecting, online, phone, and in person, okay? ATM business, black and white, very old school, okay? And this is why I like it, actually, because I'm old school. I still like talking on the phone. So with that, um, let's go with online. If you're going to use online prospecting, you want to utilize Facebook ads and marketplace. If you don't know how to use this, I recommend going and actually buying a course just on Facebook ads, you could get them from anywhere between $5 up to thousands of dollars, guys. But ultimately, they teach you the basics, okay? Um, with that, social media platforms. Social media platforms should be used at all times, guys. The reason why I say this is because you might be friends with the owner of a cash-driven location. And I'm going to tell you this from experience. Just today, guys, okay, we landed a phenomenal location for one of our clients. He ends up going to the location after he talked to the owner on the phone. Guess what happened? The owner ended up being his uncle. I'm not kidding. I wish I was kidding. I'm not kidding. The owner was his uncle. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That made my day. So, so with that, you also want to utilize other websites, Craigslist. Um, offer up those type of uh, platforms where it has to do with your local community because you can put, simply put an ad on there and say free ATM for local businesses and you're not lying 
your marketing. That's what marketing is, guys. You guys are actually letting them know like, hey, if you have a business, I got a free ATM for you. And people are going to be like, what? And they're going to hit you up. They're going to blow up your DMs. It's true. I'm actually going to ask Tyree, who we're going to be interviewing in, in the next couple minutes, this exact strategy, because that's how he was able to land his second location, guys. It's phenomenal. It's part of the strategies that we show uh, for my clients, okay? All right, so phone, old school. If you could close on the phone, you could close in person, okay? So utilize a CRM. What is a CRM? CRM is a customer relationship management system, okay? It's a techie jargon. There is a special CRM that we started to utilize. It is phenomenal, okay? Because I, I, I used to go back old school. I used to use Yelp and then make my list and then, and then call one by one. But there is now a brand new CRM that was actually created from one of my own clients. Um, phenomenal. He is uh, a young man who is killing the game right now, him and his, uh, and his future wife. Um, they're both serial entrepreneurs in the digital marketing space. They're now into the ATM space and, um, man, they're doing phenomenal things. I can't wait to see how they develop as a power couple. So with that being said, guys, if you guys want us to go ahead and send you the link so you guys can check out the CRM, if you do plan on finding your own locations, go ahead and comment finder. That's going to be F I N. D-E-R, comment finder, and I'm going to actually have my team go ahead and drop the link in the comments below. It is a phenomenal CRM uh, by one of my clients, uh, Justin Sides, and um, he, he's doing phenomenal things. So we're going to be dropping uh, the comment or the, the link below. Go ahead, um, uh, JC or uh, Faik, uh, get them, and uh, Hugh, if you guys could go ahead and drop the comments or drop the link uh, that I told you guys to drop. Uh, when people comment finder, please. Okay. So the very last thing guys in person. Okay. In person, utilize the online methods. What I would tell you from personal experience. Okay. Is that if you try to close over messenger or over the, over the phone, guess what? The highly likely chance of you actually succeeding in that is very low. What I like to do is I like to create funnels. Simply the funnels, what they are is you are setting up your ads, your, your social media platform, and then the phone calls to set up initial meetings with your prospects, okay? When you set up these initial meetings, just let them know it's all informational, all value. Then if they are willing to take the time to go and hear you out, you got a very hot lead, okay? They're willing to take time out of their day as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, because trust me, all entrepreneurs, we basically left the nine to five to work 24 seven for ourselves, but you're fulfilled. So, so with that being said, make sure that you go there and you kill it. And you present your heart out, okay? Because ultimately they are buying you. There are thousands, even hundreds of ATM deployers out there, right? But what makes you different is you. It's your brand, guys. With any industry that you do, I'm telling you right now, there are so many different ATM groups online. There are so many different ATM programs. There's even new programs that are trying to copy what we're doing. But does that worry me? No, because we bring a unique style to this. We know what type of tribe we have, and it's very special, okay? We're about our clients. All right, guys. So. If you guys are ready for the client success interview, go ahead and comment Tyree. That's going to be T-Y-R-E-E. -E. Comment Tyree, 20-year-old entrepreneur, killing the game right now, just signed up with us. And there goes the man of the hour. Get him, Jonas. Where? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> so, get him. How's it going, man? Man, nothing much, nothing much. Great presentation. Forgot. People got to post finder below i didn't see enough comments it's like people aren't excited to find their locations no oh, absolutely guys we're going to be going ahead and shooting you guys um the link individually i'm going to go ahead and have my setters go ahead and do that we're bringing tyree now into the room and uh he should be ready to rock we're going to do a great presentation get him Jonas is actually going to go ahead and lead the interview on this one 
and I'll yeah. go ahead and I'll drop some uh, some gems on the way. Tyree, how you doing, buddy? Okay, okay. can't hear you. <laughs> Might need to change the microphone, probably. Hey guys, this is how you guys know this is live when things don't go right. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I love that's the best part about it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Because it's real. So take your time, buddy. No pressure. You're probably just going to have like 200 people within the next 30 minutes watch this. <laughs> He's used to it, right? That's like on season three of Power. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> cool, cool. Awesome. So you just got to switch the audio, probably got to switch your microphone. That's what it is. Oh, <laughs> take your time, man. Take your time. It's all right. Hey guys, pump up the comments right now. Pump up the comments, pump up Tyree. Okay. We got to get him pumped up so he can figure out how to find the, uh, the sound and we get this rolling. Tyree. It's all good. It's all good. Take your time, buddy. I get him. So while Tyree is finding the, the actual sound for this, go ahead and tell the folks about a little bit about your background so they know exactly who you are. So a little bit about myself. Parents. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, bro. Don't okay, make it. Like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it was all a dream. <laughs> all right. I was going to start at the beginning. All right. <laughs> so a little bit about myself, was in a lot of government employment, military before, nine to fives, you know, some or, dead end careers. Or you in the army, right? In the army, right? Oh, 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 we gotta watch out with that. <laughs> hey, who, who over here is in the military? Yeah. Go ahead and comment below. <laughs> comment, comment, army, army strong. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in the Marines before. <laughs> no disrespect to any other branches, but it's it's natural rivalry right in the beginning. But yeah, started in the military for a little bit, um, got to some government employment, invested into crypto back in, I think it's 2016, along with some other assets. Yep. I mean, got to a point where it hit seven figures. Luckily, you brought me on to bring on to consulting in the ATM space also. And, hey, here we are. That's it, man. Oh, I, I think I hear Tyree too. I had to join using my phone. I don't know why. My I'm in. He got it. He got that it. Is, that is all right. <laughs> you might, you might, you might want to flip the camera <laughs> the other way, man. Otherwise, you're gonna have all the viewers like this. <laughs> there you go. You're good, dude. It's actually, it's actually clearer than I think your computer camera was. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're good, man. Hey, Tyree. Awesome. How you doing? I'm good. How about you? Doing well, man. Doing well. So your video, I wasn't playing, dude it actually had the most views mm -hmm. in the past month out of all our client videos. Um, so I was just like, dude, I need to bring this guy on live. You know, people uh, want to hear from you. And they were like, I want to talk to Tyree. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> that hot fire, man. <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. So cool. Um, get them. Go ahead. Uh, I'll follow along with you, brother. And let's get this going. Yeah, for sure. Tyree, so a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from Monroeville, Alabama. Okay. South, originally yeah. from Alabama. Yes. Awesome, yeah. awesome. I don't even recognize the accent. So, <laughs> and so, when did you start entrepreneurship? Um, it really just developed like during the pandemic. So I, I was a guy on TikTok, and I saw how people were making money from like their side hustles, and it started off with like real estate and stocks, crypto. Like I tried all of it. I was in college, and I was just trying to find something besides college to sustain me for my life yeah okay and, and so why the atm business then well they it just like it was just it seemed like i had looked a lot into real estate so and i i'm in these other real estate groups and i saw where okay. we're making 300 dollars a month from a house but they were spending like 20 30k to get a house and then I see people in the ATM group talking about how like ATM is like 2,500 yeah. like, and that, and they're making like 300 to a thousand dollars. And I'm like, it's just a no brainer when it comes to like the process and getting it and setting everything. 
for sure, for sure. Yeah, we get a lot of real estate professionals that come over. Same thing, right? Nowadays, it's expensive. Even in Alabama, we're in California. It's like to to live in a closet. It's like a million dollars. So, <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's 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 insane. You know, I, yeah. I think I did a post on IG a, a couple a couple weeks back, and um, in California, if if you're in law enforcement, they actually pay you uh, about a hundred thousand. Okay, but what people don't know is mortgage out here is like around four grand. So you're barely making it. Yeah, they're, they're giving you a pretty good pay, but guess what? You're barely making it. And it's just like, what am I gonna do with food, gas? Because majority of everybody, they can't afford to live in the large metropolitan city. So they have to live in like the suburbs, which is like an hour drive. You know how much gas that is? It's insane. No. Yeah. Let alone gas right now, like seven dollars a gallon or something. I, I don't even want to hear it, man. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> right. well, sorry, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. So, Terry, how was the process with the ATM Together team? Like the initial contacts, the process working with us. It was simple. Like everything went smoothly. Like y'all got my bank account. Y'all helped me set up my LLC. Like everything y'all said y'all was gonna do. Like y'all did it. Like there was no. Like, oh, are they going to text back or nothing? Like, y'all responded and we got it done. Yeah, hey, that's what we aim for. At the end of the day, simple is the way to go, right? No, no extra fluff. We're going to get it done, right? <laughs> cool. So what are your future plans in the ATM business? Um, for right now, I just want like three or four just like to take care of my baby. And then I plan on trying to get a four-unit property and live in one side and rent the other three out next year so after i after i do that then i'll probably start back buying atms so that's my plan for right now awesome okay diversify smart way to do it let your money work for you too yeah yeah super smart with the house hacking man i mean i wish somebody would have showed me that when i was your age that's that's a, that's a good move that's a good move. rent I don't know about you, Paul, but I was busy partying at his age, so <laughs> I was thinking about house. Hey, dude, I got there. I got, I, I got yeah. into the investment, you know, not, yeah. not, not by Tyree's age, but I got there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, speaking of age, all right, so what would you tell yourself, or actually, what would you tell yourself 10 years ago about investing and about business? Um, I would tell them just to start saving some money because <laughs> I wish, I wish I had I wish I had saved my money better, especially when I graduated high school because I got like a lot of money from graduation. So I wish I would have saved that money to invest it better than what I did with it. <laughs> Another feeling. It's all right, man. You live and you learn. At the end of the day, it's all about life experience. You have to go through those trials and errors in order to perfect it later on, right? Not everybody comes out like a superstar. No, the biggest entrepreneurs on digital marketing and biggest entrepreneurs in the ATM business, biggest entrepreneurs in whatever industry, real estate, Grant Cardone, all that jazz. These guys made millions of mistakes. It's just the thing is they weren't afraid to fail. So mm -hmm. it's good. See, you, you realize that and now you're taking action to not do it again. Right. So mm -hmm. kudos, man. At 20 years old, that's phenomenal, dude. Because like I said, I didn't have the guidance at your age, dude. I was just like, what am I going to do? Right. Yeah. So yeah, no, good for you, man. House hacking, you can expand your ATM to cover your bills. That's a solid plan. Mm -hmm. For sure. And everybody, I think everybody says the same thing. I wish I would have saved more, but Hey, no matter what hindsight's 2020, as they say, right. So, you know, it's, it's crazy. Cause like, I remember in like eighth and like seventh grade, I kept writing papers on like being an entrepreneur, but I always said, I'm not really going to do that because I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I thought. I thought I had to like make up my own product to sell it. But, you know, it's with yeah. social media now, it's crazy because like millionaires are giving out their blueprint and like people like people are literally just scrolling past it. And so like stopping and listening and like paying a few hundred dollars to make like a million and even more. All this is out there. Yeah. yeah, the info yeah. is out there. Wait. Oh yeah, it's it's way different from the MySpace era, where <laughs> you know it's just pictures and you know you just like the picture and then you had your little intro music. Now yeah. it's like, dude, there's so much information out there. You mm -hmm. know, 
and uh, and, and I think uh, millennials. I mean, we're millennials. Um, we're jealous. We're jealous of like Generation Y and Z, man, because you know how many kids at 20 years old, 21, became millionaires off of just learning and self education online, right? So I think the rest of the generation, uh, millennials, baby boomers, we're like trying to catch up. We're like, what are we doing wrong? <laughs> right? Even 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 though, man, I mean, for for some people, nine to five is the way to go cool. Right. Mm -hmm. It's stability. And I get that, you know, I have my sisters there in the medical field. They love what they do. And I respect them the most for that being first responders, nurses, and all that jazz. But I, I sort of like the chaos of entrepreneurship, to be honest with you, you know, uh, it's something new every day. You learn different experiences and then you get to become so creative. So good. That's good for you, man. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So Tyree, who would you recommend ATM together .com to? anybody who needs some extra in like a simple way like like i said it's a simple business model and i feel like anybody can do it especially with y'all's team awesome awesome simple words i like it appreciate that man so tyree so for for everyone that's watching right now okay and i'm telling you we usually get about a thousand views by tomorrow evening okay because a lot of people uh they're still working you know uh, they're going to sleep in the east coast or whatnot so a lot of people are going to watch the replay so for everyone that's watching this what was the favorite part of the entire process from the time that you talked to one of our consultants from the time that you enrolled got your group chat clients group um got your llc done get your bank done uh did the whole processing documents thing boring work right uh programming your atm location finder services installation what would you say is your number one favorite part of the process well I like receiving ATM, like unpackaging it and then like adding like the background and programming. All that is just like, I like computers and I like working with computers and like that. That's what I enjoy the most. OK, that's cool, man. See, that, that's something that I didn't know on the last interview we did. So what I would recommend for you, Tyree, if you really like doing that, start offering the services. You're already trained. You already got your own locations. Now you can charge people anywhere between three to $500 for installing their, their ATMs. And we got in the clients group, there are literally hundreds of people that always ask, Hey, do you guys offer the technicians all that? It's getting so competitive with technicians now that technicians are very picky on who they choose to work with. So guess what? You could create your own company for tax services. And guess what? You find the clients and you connect it with the actual owners, the ATM deployer. You take a fee from that, man. Yeah, that's why it's a business. It's like offer that, like you said. Yeah, good. That's smart. You mm -hmm. never know where you find yourself, right? Another side income, another source of income in the ATM business while you're doing something else too. So you never know, right? Yeah. Cool. So for anybody wondering, right? Like Paul said, there's a lot of people watching, right? You're live, right? <laughs> what would you tell someone who's on the fence about joining the ATM Together Automation Service? Like I said in my other interview, just do it. Like there, there's a quote is the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. And the next best time is now. So like I said, just do it and just like get into it. Yeah. That's wow. That's sim simplicity equals success, man. And you, you just laid down the foundation, right? How many of you guys uh, right now watching this would have wished you would have invested into crypto a decade ago, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah. So with that being said, um, don't, don't let an opportunity pass you when you see it. So good, good. Sure. Well, Tyree, thank you. Appreciate it. We won't take too much of your time. That was pretty late over there. So yeah, Tyree, any last words for the audience before we let you go, brother? Uh, no, sir. I think that's all I got. <laughs> okay. I appreciate you, man. And I'm going to be hitting you up after this. Okay. All right. Thank all you. Right. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. All right. Peace. All right, guys. So if you guys enjoyed Tyree's interview, okay, go ahead and comment success that's going to be s-u-c-c-e-x-x -X, success okay go ahead and comment success because i have a phenomenal 
final presentation for you guys on why ATM automation is the most cost effective in the ATM industry for you. You guys are going to get a lot of gems. It's actually going to give you a very deep view on, hey, this is how much it's going to cost me to start my ATM business compared to having a team of experts do it. Okay. So if you guys are excited, go ahead and comment success, help us out with the algorithm guys. You guys are wonderful tonight. All right, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and do a share screen once again, guys.